Yes, guys, welcome back to another edition of Whacking with myself, Bagsy at BagsyOfficial.com. Today, we're going to go to Whacking 101. Show the music. Now, this part of Whacking is really important because we're going to talk about your positioning and the inspirations of this particular style of Whacking, hugely inspired and pioneered by Tyrone Proctor. And the idea that you are meant to show the music no matter what. So I think it's really key to understand that whacking, punking was heavily influenced and inspired by drag queens. And drag queens, when they would perform on stage, would lip sync music. But they wouldn't really be singing the music, they'd be performing the song through the expressions of their body, their face, their eyes, and their hands. So as you know, with whacking, we like to use our hands to really show and express to music, whether it's the beats, the rhythm, the melody, timing, texture, and of course, the music in general. So remember, show the music. Posing, position, form, and of course, expression of music through your arms. Let's get whacking. Okay, so conductor's form. I like to call it conductor's form because if you've ever seen musical conductors, they're in one spot, they're very upright, they're looking at the orchestra and they're conducting them to where they need to be and how they need to sound. So I like to use this idea, this particular type of concept of the conductor's form so that you're strong and upright, your audience can see you clearly, they can see your beautiful face. <laughs> Yeah, because they have to see you. And you have a really nice framework so that when you throw your arms out, they can see the shape clearly with no matter what it is you are doing. Yes, notice how my head is straight. I keep my head straight. My shoulders are relaxed down. My form is upright. If there's any Latin dancers or ballroom dancers there, you know they have this upright motion, this upright feel. Maintain that. But here, with the conductor's form, we want to stay on the spot. This is our training. This is our whacking foundation. Okay. How we use our hands to show the music. You can whack, like the verb, to strike with force. Slap, slap. You can stop, use your hands to say stop. You can grab, you can throw away. You can place your hands where you need to be, always with intention. You can use ideas like birds and eagles. I like to say peacocking, peacock like a bird. Bring it out, let them see your frame. You can point, you can punch, you can slice. You can use any form of expressions that you use with your hands to show the music. Evidently, when you're in this position, you want to be able to show the music. Yes? Always dance to express, never to impress. Ta -ta 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 -dum -dum. Let's see how that looks with music.
सोला सिंगार में सजा लू संगम की ये रहना इसमें त्योहार में मना लू खुशबू तेरी छू के कस्तूरी हो जा कितनी फीकी थी मैं सिंदूरी हो जाऊ सुर से जरा बहकी हुई Yes, guys, thank you so much for taking part in another edition of Whacking with myself, Begsy at BegsyOfficial.com. So, you know, we looked at the conductor's form. This is my particular way of explaining and describing the position when ready to show the music. But you also have the funk form that you would have seen in Soul Train when they're doing whacking down the Soul Train line on that TV show. So, now you can use these to show any kind of music. This is the philosophy of whacking. You can do this style to any kind of music. Funk, jazz, reggae, Afrobeat, even rock music. <laughs> and of course pop, and of course disco. But if you wanna take your dance further, check out my website, bagsofficial.com. I have an online course there, ready for you guys to take your dance to the next level. But don't forget, have fun. Whacking is a club dance. No matter what techniques and drills and combos you learn, don't forget to bring the party to your dance. You always must have fun and enjoy. Make sense? Cool. See you next time. Keep practicing and I hope one day we meet on the dance floor. Peace.